Hey everyone, Matt here at Church Track. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of task automations and give you an example of what one looks like and how it works. To get to the automation screen, select settings and automations in the main menu. Then select the automations tab at the top of the screen. Before I dive into creating a task automation though, let's talk about what they are. A task automation is an automation that is activated in response to you or another user completing a task on the projects and tasks screen that was generated by another automation. That's a long way to say, if you have an automation that creates a task, you can create another automation that initiates when that task is completed. Now I'm going to show you how to link automations together, but first we have to create them. So in my scenario, this church has a class that people have to attend before becoming official members of the church. They also want new members to join a small group and they have a message they want to share as a follow-up with anyone who joins a group. With those goals in mind, let's create an automation that initiates when someone officially becomes a member that notifies the director of small groups. So to do this, I'm going to click the add button and then give this automation a name. Let's say, we'll just call this new member, keep it simple. Now, because this automation is gonna initiate when somebody's member status has changed, that has to do with the people screen. So I'm gonna choose the people automation, click add automation. Now from here, I'm gonna add my actions. Now I can create as many actions as I want for this automation, but I at least have to create a task because this is about task automations. So click select and configure, select a project for this task, select a user to assign this task to, and then give this a name. So let's say new member, or we'll say help new member, I'm sorry, help new member find a group. Task note, I can say help and I can inject the person's name find a small group to join. Save action. Again, I can add more actions from here, but I at least have to create a task. So I'm going to go ahead and now select when I want this automation to run. Like I mentioned earlier, I want this to be triggered when their member status is changed to member. Then I'll save changes. Now that's done, let's create an automation that initiates when that new member joins a small group. To do that, I'm gonna click the add button again and we'll give this a name. We'll say member joins a group, keeping it simple again. This still has to do with members and people, so this is a people automation. I'll click add automation, and for my action, I want to send them a follow-up email when they finish that class. So select and continue, and I apologize. Uh, we'll select, we'll send this email when they join a group, not when they finish the class. So email subject, your discipleship journey has just begun. And then say, hey, inject their name. And I can continue to customize this message as a follow-up for when they uh, join a group and give them some more information about that group and then save action. And I'm done creating my automations, but there's one more thing left to do. Now that I have both automations, I have to link them together. That way, when the task from the first automation is complete, the second automation will activate. Doing this is easy. In the second automation, under automation options, select that you want this option to be triggered. And then I want this to be triggered when a linked task is completed. And then I'm gonna select the task that I just created in the first automation. And that's it. We've just created a linked task automation. But let's see this thing in action. Now let's pretend today is Sunday and someone just completed the membership class. I'm going to look that person up on the people screen. I already have my guest list here. And let's say that Amelia Brown has completed the membership class. I'll select to edit her profile and then change her member status to member and click done. Now, because the first automation is triggered when member status is changed to member, that automation has just initiated creating a task. The user the task is assigned to can log into the account and see the task by clicking the Projects and Tasks tab at the top of the Home Dashboard screen. Now let's pretend it's later in the week and the outreach director calls the new member and they decide on a small group to join. Now they can check off that task to say that the deed is done. Since the second automation we created is triggered when that task is completed, that automation has initiated and that new member that just joined a group just received that follow-up email we created. That's what auto task automations do. 
This opens the door for your church to streamline, simplify, and standardize your tasks, operations, or processes. Now, when creating these link task automations, my advice to you is to already know the entire process you want to automate before you begin creating automations. In other words, have a goal or destination in mind and plot out the steps beforehand. That will help you get the most out of this feature. You can create a chain of automations with as many links as you like. If you have a process at your church that involves more than two steps, you can create an automation for each step and link them together in sequence. That's all for task automations today. If you need help, click the help button at the top of the screen and check out our user guide or reach out to our support team. I've got more stuff to automate for my church and I know you do too. Till next time.